Here are 10 disturbing secrets hotels don't want you to know. I swear, Airbnb is not paying me to do this. Number 10. Just about every hotel room comes with a few drinking glasses for their guests. It's super considerate of them. If you don't want to spend $8 for a bottle of water from the mini fridge, you don't have to drink straight from the faucet. Thanks for looking out, guys. Well, the hidden secret behind these ostensibly innocuous glasses is a bit disturbing. It's been reported that many hotels have their maids clean the glasses with furniture polish. If you think about it, it totally makes sense that something sketchy is going on with those glasses. There aren't any dishwashers in the rooms, and I've never seen dishwashing soap on the carts that those maids push around. Apparently, furniture polish gives the glasses that radiant sparkle that we all love so much. Most furniture polish contains cressels and petroleum distillates, which are both toxic and can cause skin irritation and damage to the central nervous system. Moreover, there's been reports that disgruntled maids will wash the glasses in the toilet if you leave the room messy or fail to leave a tip. It's the hotel version of a waiter spitting in your food. So exercise some prudence when using those hotel glasses because the glass is always half empty when it's filled with toilet water. Number nine. Speaking of disgruntled employees, there are a few ways that hotel staff will get back at a rude guest. If you're making a scene and being a jerk when you check in, they can secretly downgrade you to a worse room. While you're staying at the hotel, they can mess with your car and your toothbrush. They can also deactivate your room key just to enjoy your frustrated face when you need to come down to the front desk to reactivate it. The hotel staff can help make or break your vacation, so be nice. Number eight. Having a little company in bed can be a lot of fun, right? Well, it depends entirely on who's keeping you company. The alarming truth is that you could be sharing your hotel bed with a horde of bed bugs. These little demons suck your blood and leave revolting and itchy red bites all over your body. What's more is that they can attach themselves to your clothes or climb into your suitcase so that they can come along with you back home. And then you basically have to burn down your house to get rid of them. It's always a good idea to check the mattresses and behind the headboard when you get into a new hotel room to make sure the coast is clear because the Washington Times has reported that the issue of bed bugs in hotel rooms is an increasing concern. Ugh, I am getting itchy just thinking about those little bastards. Next topic. Before we move on, be sure to subscribe. Hit the bell button to get notified of new videos and we always appreciate a big thumbs up. Number seven. This one is a bit counterintuitive, but according to the BBC, one of the dirtiest items in the hotel room is the coffee maker. They interviewed a former hotel manager, Ken Lim from Chicago, who was quoted saying, the thing that's most squeamish to me is the coffee maker. Yes, it looks clean, but who knows how the previous guest used it before you. Think vomit, cigarette butts, crayons. <laughs> Apparently Ken doesn't like crayons. An investigation by ABC News revealed that common practice among hotel employees is to just swirl the coffee pots with water without properly cleaning them, which also leads to a buildup of bacteria. There have also been reports of people washing their undies in the coffee kettle convinced that the hot water will kill their nasty underwear germs, which is both incorrect and nauseating. We can all agree that the best part of waking up is not throw up in your cup. So do yourself a favor. Next time you're traveling, bite your lip and go to Starbucks. Number six. In the same vein as the coffee maker, turns out the ice bucket is 
absolutely repulsive. According to an article in Women's Health Magazine, for which I'm a longtime subscriber, where else am I supposed to go for that hard-hitting, objective reporting on the seven best high-impact sports bras? Ice buckets are basically a mobile toilet for the drunk hotel guest. It's pretty common for anything that exits the body to wind up in that ice bucket. So make sure you use that plastic bag that they provide as a liner inside the bucket. Think of it as a condom for your ice. Number five. As weird as it is to think about, people die while staying at hotels and hotel staff will never reveal when a person has croaked in one of their hotel rooms. And it happens more frequently than you'd want to believe. Natural deaths are common, but what's way more recurrent is drug overdoses. The hotel will do its best to keep the death quiet and out of the news. They'll remove the evidence of the passing and continue renting out the room as soon as possible. It's also speculated that hotels have agreements with police and EMS where they keep any death on the premises as quiet and as unnoticed as they possibly can. Which means there is a good chance during your next hotel stay that you'll be haunted by a drug addicted ghost stuck on permanent vacation. Number four. In 2012, the University of Houston implemented a study to discover what's the most contaminated item in a hotel room. This is gonna sound clickbaity, but the results may surprise you. It's the remote control. The study found that the remote has as much bacteria as the toilet seat. How are these people changing the channel? As we all know, people are just nasty. You can't count on anybody to wash their hands, but you can count on everyone to turn on the TV. And the remote is rarely cleaned by hotel staff. So I'm sincerely concerned with your health when I say, don't touch that dial. Number three. It's common knowledge in the hotel industry that employees take advantage of having hundreds of empty beds at their disposal. That's right. When you're out of your room during the day, enjoying that vacation you spent months saving for, there is a strong possibility that the hotel staff are releasing their pent up sexual energy all over your travel pillow. This happens when you leave your hotel keys at reception for housekeeping. They know you can't get back into your room without checking in with the front desk first. So they make like some horny teenagers and bump uglies on that exact spot where you'll be resting your head in six hours. Whether they change the sheets after they're done is anybody's guess. Number two. Hotels have had a protracted and macabre problem with suicides. It has gotten so bad that it is now common practice for hotels to bring in professional suicidologists to consult with planners and staff on how to prevent people from taking their lives in their rooms. I know what you're thinking. Don't leave us hanging. What do they do to mitigate those suicides? Locking all storage areas that hold chemicals or sharp objects is a must. Many hotels have altered windows to make sure they only open four inches and some have even constructed artistic barriers that inhibit people from jumping off their balconies. I think a step in the right direction would be to improve the continental breakfast. Personally, stale toast and bitter coffee in the morning makes me want to kill myself. Number one. In 2016, Inside Edition ran an investigation to undercover whether or not hotels change their sheets. They checked in at nine separate hotels and spray painted each bed sheet with a chemical that isn't visible to the naked eye. But if you shine a black light on this substance, it glows like a drugged out teenager at a rave. The next night, they reserved all the same rooms under a different name. When they returned the next day and shined 
shine the black light on the beds, they discovered that one third of the sheets hadn't been cleaned. In this image, the Inside Edition reporter is staring at neon evidence that her sheets were not changed before she checked in. Holy sheet, that's disgusting. I mean, for sheets sake, you don't know what people were doing in that bed the night before. It is absolutely mandatory that they clean these sheets between guests. You can't have a cheat sheet. I'll have to be three sheets to the wind before I sleep at another hotel. If you want to get down and get your hands dirty, then save some money to the side for your investment. Pick some investments yourself and use an online trading platform. Investing may be a risk, but it can be a calculated one that could result in giving you some extra paydays. If you want to be able to stack cash like you see in this picture, you need to get off the couch and start doing something today. Board Badger!